Hello! Welcome back to another yet again Deathmark. It is I, Blank. I really love this game so far. It's, it's great. I love it. Let's head out there! <coughs> it's nearly done. I better get some rest. You stop to continue the next chapter. Huh? Really? What? Oh, okay. Th that's how you do it? Sure, alright. Talk. Yes. I honestly don't have any other things to do. Uh, let's just rest. Yes. Oyasuminasaimase. Oyasuminasai as well. Um, doll, Mary, um, sure. Good night. Another night greets me. It's been three days since the investigation. And not one glimmer of hope for me. Time idles by as death draws ever closer to claim me. Yeah, the windows are very tangy. The mark that brings death. The only way to escape it is to defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. Maybe things would be different if that specialist Sayakujo was alive. Who's there? A knock breaks my train of thought. Hey! Hey! How long are you planning on sleeping? Anyway... Pretty sure I locked the door to the front door. Hey! Supposed to knock at the front door, and I'm supposed to answer that, and then you come in. You don't do this. That's invasion of home. You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. The ex detective, Satoru Mashida. The other mark bearers left the mansion, uh, she stayed behind. Mary was the cause. What? Really? I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. Oh, really? Why that? Nice of Mary to do. Thank you, Mary. She went against Sayakujo's wishes by doing that, but it seemed it was for my sake. Oh, that's nice. Aw, oh, thank you, Mary. But I don't know about Mashita. Even if he was asked to stay, he has no reason to agree. Yeah, oh, why, why'd you stay, bud? What's that look? Not happy I stayed behind? I'm grateful. I prefer Moe. I prefer Tsukasa. I prefer myself. I don't know. Uh, I'm grateful enough. Thank you. Cut that out. It's creepy. What? No. Flatter me all you want. But won't forget you drove without a license. Oh, fuck you, ex-detective. You got no obligation of throwing me in a jail cell when you're ex-detective. Do detectives are also same with the police? I, re I heard of private investigators. So are they still in line with police forces? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. He's got a bad mouth. As usual. His true intentions aside, I have to say, I'm honestly grateful for his help. My amnesia could hit without a warning, so I can't go over whatever I want. <coughs> He's been going around gathering information in my place. I saw some people from the force. Still no ruckus over H Elementary. But, wait a second. A guard went missing. This company should be notified. This company should be notified. You know, like, yeah, he went missing. They should, like, be like, Oh, what happened to Zach? Wait, what was his name again? They, he had a name. I forget what it was. That company is exactly the issue. It's run by Yakuza thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. They don't want the police involved. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people up and walk out all the time. Yamashida, that was his name. Everyone thinks he up and split. I hear that's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. 
If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd just be another abandoned building. <coughs> the government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. All the people in the world, yeah, that's true. The man lived alone, so a missing persons report won't be fil filed soon. <laughs> the school most likely won't come under suspicion until then. That's it for my report. We caught over a lot of ground in a short time. Exotives sure are handy. Man, you guys are like pocket knives. Or multi pocket tool, Swiss army knives. What are you called? It's knives. Nah. Anyway. Did you bring up the marker spirits when you were asking around? No. You think I'm an idiot? Oh, look at me. I'm. There was this crazy mark on my hand. Ooh, it makes you curse and has spirits follow you. Ooh. I totally believe you. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be calling the loony bin. Even if the kids or I did bring them up. Even if the kids or I did, uh, did bring them up, who'd honestly believe us? <laughs> Why waste my brain? Seriously, yeah, like. <coughs> oh, hey guys, I've been being haunted by spooky ghosts! Oh man, oh man. <laughs> but that's a load of baloney. <laughs> Come on, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> And how often do you think like people will believe in ghost stories? I personally believe in ghost stories. I like rumors, but which is why I tend to move away from them. If it has to, if it costs me like my life, then I have to move away from them. A Ouija board? I believe in those things. Therefore, I avoid them at all costs. <laughs> so, yeah. Exasperated, he shrugs. Searching the mansion was on you. So, did you find anything? I came up blank as well. A lot of beds, a lot of lamps, a lot of lights, a lot of paintings, a lot of windows. A lot of window curtains too. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Though I've only gone through half so far. And some of the rooms were locked. Man, if only I had a key or a lockpicking lock person. Hey, wait, can you do that? Stuck without a warrant. I mean, well, technically this house was belonged from a dead person, so... And the person's dead, so eh, you know, you could just uh, it's just it's just fine. Oh wait, hey, wait a moment. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I can like there's words here. There's Hiko. I can see Hiko right there, and Hanayome. What the hell's Hanayome? There's also Mary here, and. The number nine. I don't know what nine means. Oh wait, is it is it a Japanese legend that like nine is a bad number? Was it nine or was it four? I forgot. I, I'm sorry. I don't know that much. But I remember there was like one number in Japanese uh, Japanese tale, like you know, like oh, it's a very bad open number. We don't want that. And you know, they also added in for elevators as well that they don't include that number in the specific ele elevators. So you know, you anyway, yeah. Like, you wait for something like that. I swallow the words before they come out. Oh yeah. Mary's asking for you. You should get going. If you guys didn't, well, much, guess much, I'm trying to make him sound like V from Devil May Cry because he kind of gives out that vibe for me. How you doing? Mary is sitting primly on the couch, the same as always. It appears you are having dif having a difficulty. Ah, sorry. I'm trying to set the mood. I'm very bad at reading. I'm sorry. <clears throat> ah. It appears you are having a difficult time without with your investigation. Hmm. I do wish I could be of, of more use to you. Sadly, I am a doll, and much like most dolls, I cannot walk. I know you can sense mark bearers. Can you sense spirits too? If they were to if they were to come onto the grounds, I believe I could. Yes. That doesn't sound particular particularly useful. Do you have any other abilities or powers? I um. I can do this with my hands, and he does like the whole like finger. Pull the finger out trick. <laughs> Indeed. I can view the vague shape of a poor 
I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Huh? Like predicting the future? Oh no, nothing quite so extreme. It is more akin to fortune telling. It may or may not come to pass. I get it. That's why what you predicted earlier didn't actually happen. It was the uh, answer of what ifs and maybes, a 50 50? Did Mary tell you something? The truth you're seeking can be found here on Earth, some such. Like a fool, I fell for it. So convinced. I'm such an idiot. Oh! People are at the door! A loud knock sounds at the door. I was there in the dead of night. Other, other mark bearers, I guess. A mark bearer? Those are new potential guests. Welcome. I open the door and the visitor strides in. This shady looking young man in a uniform delinquent these de delinquents these days tend to wear. <coughs> he smirks at me, clearly feeling superior. Oh shut the fuck up. Superior my ass. You're here for some reason and that one reason is the more so. <laughs> You're stuck within it like the all like the rest of us. This way, Scoojo Mansion? I got business with some Saya chick. No way you're her, huh? He narrows his eyes, staring suspiciously. Oh, suspicious my ass. You're somebody who's suspicious too. She's up. I'm Saya. Turn to Mashita. <laughs> her, right there. Let's turn to Mashita. Oh no, don't hand this off to me. I'm horrible with kids. They never did it. dared to put me in charge of Juvie. You guys know her, yeah? I don't care which one of you it is, but would you hear me out? Introductions are quickly done. His name's Sho Nagashima. And as you guess, he's got a mark. He rolls up his right sleeve to show us, and yep, the red mark is burned in. Right sleeve, up, up the forearm? I called freak friend said something. But it gives you amnesia. For real? Yeah, that's right. Can't even remember my real name. You're kinda calm. You're kinda too calm for all that. But you're pulling a fast one on me. That great, but that reaction's normal. But if he's not going to believe the rumors, then he had no reason to come. Why is he here then? Haha! <laughs> Rumors are just that. Amnesia or dying because of some mark? That's comic book craziness! Every word of it is true. Who's say, saying thing? <clears throat> Was that a girl's voice? Oh, it's Mary. There is a saying. The truth is stranger than friction. Fiction. I am bad, my words are dead. There are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins explaining. I'm sure she figured it, figured it would be the fastest way to convince him. You got oh, you got some damn speaker set up somewhere, don't ya? I don't take kindly to threats. Peers closely at Mary. Such a such a mechanism does not exist, Lord Shaw. No, 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 no way! He yells pathetically, his eyes wide and suddenly falls flat on his ass. It seems that despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. His stuff acts likely to cover. After that, he meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. He listens quietly, his face pale, as she tells him about the Markin spirits. By the time she finishes explaining, his face is devoid of color. In black and white. Now, Lord Sho, have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? Y yeah. I don't think he's used to marry yet. His face is rather stiff. Yeah, I can see that. He got a scar too. What happened? 
my memory's always been crap. So, so I thought I was imagining things. But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. You got this occult friend, yeah? Tell him about my scar, the mark. He scared the shit out of me. Showed me an article that said it was all that scar thing's fault. So now I'm here. Moe mentioned seeing an article by Saikujo in a magazine too. It's all because of a monster. The hell? This is crazy! Why does this have to happen to me? Not believing it is normal. But if you don't, you'll die. If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how you got the mark. If you knew. Even if your memory's gone bad, you should at least remember that. I'm not that far gone. Thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by Edge Castle. I know I did. What the hell's H? What's H City? What's H Elementary? What what part of country in Japan is H? I mean, it does have a rumor about the place being cursed, so. We should probably ask him some more about it. Forest? It's cursed? Why were you there? Um. Yeah, forest, sure, why not? Forest. A huge forest west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Even kids do. But I've lost my memory, so explain, please. Maybe that's why I don't know about it, so explain, please. The place in the city's garbage dump. Bunch of nasty rumors about it. There's illegal industrial waste dumping there, like, all the time. It's not just objects either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. A new mother strangled her kid there because she couldn't take care of it. Because she couldn't take care of it? Okay, maybe- oh yeah, maybe this game has a couple of typos, okay. Alright then. At least ease me up on a bit of voice acting. It just makes me- uh, okay, maybe I might not be as dumb. <laughs> There's tons more rumors like that, whether or not any of them are true. I heard some of those too! Like, the lost kid was eaten by a dog and they only found his torso? Or that, or that murderer hides out there and kills anyone who gets near! The two of them have the exchange stories. Aw oh man, I wish I could be part of it too, but sadly, I have memory loss and also am very focused about this investigation. Please tell me more important stuff! Apparently, while he hates ghosts, he's more than fine with this kind of stuff. Dude! What? I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, but never walked in. No one with half a brain goes there. Which I ask next. It's cursed, or why were you there? Well, it's cursed. We'll go, we'll go it down. We'll go it that way. Show stiff and take a board. I hate that supernatural crap. Just talking about it freaks me out. What a wimp. Rumors exist for a reason. That place is a famous suicide spot. 50 people die there a year, so they say. And that's just what they find. Once there was a mass suicide. It has its fair share of grisly history. Joe's eyes are wide. He looks like he swallowed a bug. What should I ask now? Why were you there? I was obviously on my bike, man. Place is totally empty at night, so it's perfect for driving around. Riding around, freeze the bird. Helps me clear my mind. If before you ask, yes, I have my license. And no illegal mods. Man, huh. Is that so? Man, he has his license. What about me? Ah. You don't need another person flouting the law. One is enough. I smile wryly. Who would have thought this kid would be on the strange and narrow? I like this kid. Kinda like him. That day I was clearing my head when my bike broke down. I stopped to check it out, and suddenly I got this scar. Which one? The one in your face or the one in your arm? I'm very confused. You got two scars. 
I doubt we'll get any more out of show. Now I found the spirit. You haven't forgotten anything. No keeping secrets now. Quit strong arming me, man. Oh, no. Quit strong arming me. Hold your horses, I'm thinking. He's complaining, but I can see he really is combing through his memories. There was something. It wasn't a ghost or nothing, but I did saw I did spot something weird. I keep on biting my tongue, it hurts. Over by the side of the road. I saw this huge man. A giant? It wasn't just some tree's shadow. Honestly, I'm not real sure. The place was really dark and I only saw it for a second. It sounds pretty iffy. Mm. Is that info really reliable? Good enough, I guess. Mary? Care to... Ah, oh, there we go. May I inter interject? Go ahead. In truth, there are a number of supernatural rumors set there. Oh, sorry. In truth, there are a number of supernatural rumors set there. Uh, okay. <laughs> One happens to corroborate Lord Sho's story. The rumor of Shimio. Shimio. Shimmy shimmy yay, shimmy yay, shimmy ya. Oh, sorry. It just it just hits me. It sounds like Mary has an idea. Could you tell us more about it? Can you explain it in like a housewife's tale or something? Like can you do a fake action or something? Of course, Lord Farquaad. I shall tell you the story of Shimmy Shimmy Yay, Shimmy Yay, Shimmy Yay, Drake, Shwa La La La. Hey, have you heard that rumor? Alright, we're going um, gossiping businessman, how about that? The one about that weird giant man? He's covered in black splotches. So people call him Shimmy Shio. Scott! The Shimmy Yo is just problematizing me because it's Shimmy Yo. The Spider Man of the Forest. I heard he asks everyone he makes a question. Do you like Drake? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is this is Drake the one who sang that song? Because like it's like Drake. Oh, sure. Well, I don't know. I mean, it might be somebody else. I don't know. A lot of rappers keep on saying rapper other rapper names. I don't know. I don't know how rap music works. <laughs> I'm sorry. A college student who heard the rumor decided to go to the forest to see. And a man covered in splotches really did appear. Do you like Shwalala <laughs> Lisaf? The student laughed. <laughs> this is that the proper response? <laughs> yeah, sure, I like them. It's a good song. And then. Let's read something. Uh. Oh. No, no, I will not say this word. Ask those, ask those he meets a single question, then kills them using his drill. It's odd, really, to have like a spirit, a whole spirit killer to use a fucking drill. Like, ooh. An axe and a knife is fine. A mechanical power drill? Whoa, that's different. <laughs> I imagine it's like connected to a plug as well. Like, has, there's like a fucking outlet by the trees. Like, in a tree, there's like an outlet. He plugs it in and then starts like, vroom, vroom, just comes, comes at you, and once he's close, like the like the plug pulls out from the outlet and says, Oh damn it! That might be none other than the figure you saw, Lord Shaw. However, I have no proof. Although you do, Shaw. 
then we'll have to gather evidence. Let's get ourselves to the forest, shall we? Investigations require legwork. There's no hesitation, Mashita. After facing Hanahiko, he knows full well what spirits are capable of. Is this his training and experience as a police detective? Hey now, you serious? Going there in the middle of the night? You guys have totally lost it. You're coming too. You stay here? You scared? <laughs> you scared? I ain't gonna say that. He's probably he's always gonna say no. Um. You no, know, you're coming too. Come. What? Me? So an ele elementary school kid and a high schooler were tougher than you. Ah, uh, they got you there. You're that much of a whim. What you say? I ain't no scaredy cat. Hey, old man, take me with you instead of him. If that huge guy releases some monster, I'll pound him to dust. He's easy to manipulate. Uh, thank God. Hey, come on with me. Masha, you stay, I guess. You'll settle on a destination. Please head to the forest by each castle once you are ready. Your first goal is to identify the spirit that bestowed the mark. New info was added to the spirit farm, the forest and Shimiyo. Shwalalala, -la -la. new chapter item changes, huh? All items obtained within the chapter are removed at the end. If a character brings an item, it will be added at the start. New chapter soul power. It will return to 1000. Oh. Okay. I got a bat and a baseball, huh? A bat that show had it's covered in scratches and dents. It's seen a lot of use even off the vi even off the baseball field. Only show can use it. A worn baseball that show had it in his pocket. It may be scratched, but the ball itself has been polished white. It's obviously well maintained. I wonder if that's gonna be useful. What do you got with Shimio? Ooh. The forest is shrouded by strange events, suicides, and body dumping and the like. It scared off the casual visitors, only the occasional test of courage brings a foolish kid inside. The pads are shaded at all hours and the thick trees so it's easy to become lost. Among the rumors swirling about this forest is one of a bizarre man. Known as the Spotted Man or Drake, he's covered in dark splotches and asks all he meets if they like bees, if they like these songs. Uh, if they say yes, he attacks them with the awesome lyrics of shimmy shimmy a shimmy a shimmy a while laughing maniacally. <laughs> she sounds like your standard crazy, but I guess he's the next spirit we'll face. At any rate, we'll have to head we'll have to head to the forest and investigate. Okay. Actually, thinking about it, what do we got on you? Oh no, it's currently Mashed as our partner, but we're changing it to show. Sex male. Okay, that's gay. <laughs> now, no. Andrew forced his former baseball player to quit. His prickly attitude seems to stem from that, but he treasures his friends. His tough act is a cover for how he's terrified of the supernatural, and he came to Kujo Mansion for help. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna read for everybody, so here we go. Read this guy, then read this person, and read this person as well. That's all you get. All right, let's go. Okay, who's speaking? I don't know. They really should just add in the names of whoever's speaking. I'm very confused with which one is this. I'm just gonna say it in like in a very funny clown voice. Oh shit! Why am I? Damn it! Why? Show throws himself into the passenger seat and seat and mumbles an endless litany of complaints. Oh yeah, that's right. We brought Show. Sometimes I I think like everybody's just coming along too. Like, I mean, sure. Yeah, we can't have too many because they'll do a spear. They'll send a lot of mark bearers, but still. But still, come on. I still expect like they to come along too. I really want to tell him to shut up, but I'm pretty sure that'll only make things worse. It's only natural for a guy his age. Hey, old man! You gotta smoke. I blink in surprise. A cigarette? 
I simply put my hand in my pocket, but then I come to my senses. You're not old enough for that yet. Shut up. I'm 19 already, it's fine. 19? But you're still in high school. Now I've done it. I'm overcome with regret the instant I say it, but I can't take it back now. <sighs> well, excuse me for repeating a grade. It was like a touch on a sore subject, even though that wasn't my intention. The atmosphere in the car was bad enough, and now I made it worse. Uh, come on, let's try to get along. I need to change the subject. So, this weather! <laughs> so, uh, are you in a club or anything? You look pretty fit. So, maybe baseball or. Yeah, I played. But I should probably do. Yeah, I played. I don't think like a. I don't think like a deep voice suits him. I think like my uh, my regular voice a while ago, like a, a bit high pitch, a bit sometimes low pitch, maybe that. Yeah, I played, but I quit. My emergency save just swerved into dangerous territory. Broke my knee. Too many laps. Coach, just, coach kept saying I had a bad attitude or looked at him funny. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? I don't care about that shit. I couldn't really get into it under the shitty coach anyway. I think I now know. I think I know now why he rides his motorcycle alone in the mountains. To what? To drive? But if he came to Kujo Mansion after a setback like that. Ah, oh, fuck! It's seriously frustrating! He keeps up a string of swearing for a while. Anyone would act the same way. Anyone would stir up a storm but keep going down the same path anyway. Down this dark, concerning road that only leads to death. Fade out. That is our car. We are currently getting out of the car. We are being basked in the breeze of whatever this place is. We arrive at the forest by each castle. Stop the car. We stop the car near where Sho says he saw the man, and we enter the forest. All the guideposts on the path are faded; their paint peeling off. It looks hard to traverse, just as Sho and Mashita said. We walk a while until we come to a large arch marking the start of a hiking trail. This place looks like a shitty hiking trail, to be honest. I mean, it is night, but still, it's kind of bad. It is kind of bad. It's not that great of a place to hike. All you get is trees and dead people. I mean, they said it was like suicides, right? So now. It's rusted over and with the peeling paint it doesn't seem to have been touched. Up. The others have faded and are mostly illegible. I can't read Japanese so I'm not sure but uh... Well there's clearly words here, some kanjis that are at least visible. The one with that one, the one with the square and the one with... That's a 7 and with an extra kanji. I really don't know my Japanese letter so I'm sorry. But to any of those who do speak kanji then please tell. Please tell me what do you what do you read? Welcome to the M Mer Lush and Romantic <laughs> Romantic my ass Mer <laughs> that's, that's just oddly so specific and very coincidental. Seriously? Murder? Oh. Wood Timberland. Murder. Huh. I like this place already. Can't wait. Let's go, show. Tch. Coincident. That's all. Just cause it's way old and faded. Very convenient as well. You know, like the word murder on it. So easy to read. So odd. Come on, old man. Let's get. Let's go already. You pass under the arch and enter the forest. Hey, here we go. Here we go. About to start our investigations. A lot of 
Ah, buzzing. It reads, Welcome to the lush and romantic wood timberland. And I brought you frankincense, of course. And I brought you myrrh. Thank you. Murder! Anything in the trash? Um, look first. I, I don't think it's been used in a long time. There's some garbage that are around either. Really? Feel? I feel around the inside the container, but nothing's inside. But there really is nothing here. Huh, alright. Useless? Pointless. Pointless. Alright, now that's what we'll use. It's a wooden table and benches. The weather beaten table and benches are clearly damaged and rotting in places. Feel. I peek underneath the table and find something stuck there. Oh. Found a worn out talisman. Nice. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel warm flow through me. Yes. <laughs> Soul power. The worn out talisman crumbles silently in my hands. All right. Moving on. Um. Any else? Forward. Forward, I guess. Oh. Huh. We we'll continue down the path a short while before we come across something unexpected. Is this what's that? Uh a gravesite? It's a grave marker. Huh. It was probably put there to honor those who commit suicide here. Okay. Might not be a bad idea to say a quick prayer for those who ended their suffering that way. I'm pretty sure somewhere around here there's gonna be a jump scare, like between the Thickets and bushes, trees and everything else. Although I will say this is very well drawn, I like it. God, I wish I tried to like have that level of detail in my drawings. But of course I can never because how do I color? I mostly good, do good in sketches, but in terms of coloring, hell nah. Although I do watercolor, it's not that great, but still I watercolor. It's, I guess in my opinion, it's decent enough. Decent enough to, enough to say like, oh, that's that's okay. This looks good enough. It's a great marker placed to honor suicide victims. Something's written in magic marker. The fuck? Say the opposite of the truth, you'll be followed. Tell a lie, and I'll be followed. Huh? Okay. Show Scouts to cover how his face is that they pale. You okay? Be followed. What else with that? Damn it! This girl was dumbass for graffiti. I was off to decide I noticed a faint trail. Discover the entrance to the beast trail? The beast? Looks like there's a pad over there too. Hey old man! Just try to keep up. Hey, don't go! Hey, don't go ahead! God damn it! We still, we still haven't touched it! The moonlight doesn't reach the beast trail that branches off the hiking trail. So we're in the gloom. The trees are thick on both sides. We'd get lost if, we, uh, if I didn't have a flashlight. Just then. There are footsp footsteps close by from the bushes. Oh fuck. Hold on! Did you footsteps too? Yeah, it's because it's your fucking fault. You have to run in. Motherfucker, think things! Think! Use half your brain! I hear footsteps again. They seem to be getting closer. Oh, fuck. Then. No. Nanda. Uh. Oh. Oh. A man appears from the bushes. He looks horribly exhausted. Mataku. Mataku. You shouldn't stand around in the dark. What are you doing? The man falls silent. I think you realize he already knows the answer. Mashita did say this place is a famous spot for suicide. Yeah, you look someone who. Nanda no. I just can't do it anymore. Yeah, you look like a depressed man. I work myself to the bone at a job I don't even want. Did you just bring another man home? How dare you? The nerve. 
Oh, oh, that's sad. Oh, you have like a job that's, uh, and your wife's cheating on you. That's, oh. He holds his head in his hands. Oh, Whoa, hey! He, he suddenly starts kicking a tree and yelling, Oh, come on, you scared me. Oh, calm down! A rapid stream of swear words flows out of his mouth. He seems to be the type that goes crazy when he's upset. Oh, whoa, whoa, calm down. Hey, could you tell me how much nerve do you have to do to do that? Huh? Oh, wait, what? Is this a live or die? Stop him. That invites death. Oh, wait, what? I heard that voice again. Stop him. Does that mean I should dissuade him? If you got something to say, just spit it out, you bastard! It's a liver, die? Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, okay. Calm him down, I highly doubt that. Let's silently listen. Silently listen! It would be bad if he went berserk here, I'll just have to hear him out. But it seems the man misinterpret misinterprets my silence? Oh, do you feel the same way? Of course you do. You're here in this forest after all. I'm here on a different situation. You're here to ki kill yourself. I'm here to find something that kills people. <laughs> oh, thank god. Thank god. <gasps> <sighs> what did you think I was doing? Work myself sick? I'm stuck with it anyway? And for whose sake? I even bought her a purse on our anniversary last year. <sighs> and she goes and sees another man. The man curses the darkness. He's completely lost and I should probably avoid any tactless interjections or flattery. Hey, you there. Was it me? What you think? Clear this up for me. Did I do something wrong? Um, no? Don't worry about it. Someone's here. So someone's here! No. <laughs> what? Don't use the answers that were given as hints. Use anything but those. The man's gaze starts around nervously, and he mutters quietly. Could it be that creepy guy? He checks around on full alert. Satisfied, satisfied that no one's there, he resumes speaking. <laughs> I've saved myself a lot of times. Sure, she'd just laugh if she heard I was dead. Hang off her asshole lover. <sighs> when I think about it, you know, it's strange. Why do I have to make her happy when it causes me such pain? It's ridiculous. I'm done with it. No way am I gonna die for an idiot like that! That's right! I'm sure it's still. The man looks down at his feet and dances up at me. What? We could still start over fresh, right? Yeah! 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 We hell yeah! Um... I feel like I should say it's impossible because he's feeling helpless. Sure! Sure? Yeah, I agree. I lived this long. It's too late for me. Uh, I am too good! It's very obvious that the choice is you don't want to be positive, you want to be negative. And that will save you. Like, you think the positive will work things out, but no, these guys are depressed as hell and would think of anything else but positivity. So instead of being, like, you know, positive, like, sure, just be negative. Be honest, be blunt. I'll die sometime soon, even if it's not tonight. I'll endure it until then. And until then. Oh, yeah, I survived. I don't know what you've been through, but you should rethink it. Is this show talking? Honestly though, she looks like you'll be fine. 
His expression changes as if you as if he's remembered something. I saw a strange man while I was wandering around out here. His body was covered with black splotches. You think he's sick? He kept staring at me, it was creepy. If you're heading back, be careful. A man covered in splotches. Mary brought up some moments about a man like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The name's Maso Masao Kimura, if you ever meet again. The man scratches his head and smiles a bit. Aww. I hope you live long too. I wonder if you get the mark. Oh, I wonder when. Let me buy you a let me buy you a drink or something. Well, see you. Yeah man. Don't die. Don't talk long with Masao Kimura before he leaves. New info was added to the spear file. Man at the brink of suicide. Damn, what a pain in the ass. Guys like that should just hurry up and die. Hey! The beast trail continues onward. Let's return to our investigation. Back. What do we have? Okay, this is new. As you walk past the grave marker, an agitated man named Maso Kimura appears. Once we get him to calm down, he calls off his fans to kill himself before he... Before he leaves, he mentions seeing a man covered in dark splotches. I wonder if she's still around. You should keep moving. Um. Right. Oh. 